And speaking of track records, let's go back into Ogo himself and let's look at uh, Dakwa Biodu now, um, the governor uh, who, indeed, it's, you know, he has another, um, he has the chance to do another term if the electorate agree. So that's where we'll come back to results. We're talking about results for Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The president was saying that he, there are results. Everybody is saying it's not the president. Who, there are results. The man has done wonders in Lagos. Um, why will he not come and replicate that kind of a thing? Now, in the case of uh, our governor in Ogun, because actually I'm an Egberman myself, so there's a sense in which he's our governor. So you're a stakeholder? Well, of course, you know. So, Strong one for that matter. <laughs> so what, uh, two things there. Um, one, the track record of, uh, of Governor Abiodu, and also perhaps if you want political savvy, uh, because you still must keep everybody happy in a political environment, mm -hmm. any, any political environment. So uh, first of all, tell me about the achievements and if indeed all party members are happy. Now, um, the governor, uh, Prince Dapua Abiodun, took uh, the Sadu, 29th of May, 2019. And he hit the ground running straight away uh, with uh, a development pillar uh, premised on the Ishaya agenda. Ishaya is the Ogun state mm. known mm. Uh, anthem mm. that every son and daughter of Ogun state is conversant with. And this, the Some governor Ogun, brought, yeah. exactly. Mm. He brought into his developmental agenda the idea for, is for infrastructure, the S is for social welfare and social well-being, uh, the E is for education, uh, the Y is for youth development, youth engagement, culture and tourism, and the A, of course, is for agriculture. However, uh, breaking each of these down, you find out that even infrastructure is not in the infrastructure sector alone is a multi-sectoral thing. There are infrastructure in the education sector, there are infrastructure in the health sector, there are infrastructure even in the agri sector. Uh, one of the major milestone projects we're having uh, under the agri uh, policy now is the agro-cargo airport that is nearing uh, completion. Uh, with the interest shown by the African Development Bank uh, by citing their uh, special agro-processing zone around the airport Erotropoli uh, with the customs and other uh, stakeholders in the aviation sector uh, taking up land space mm. around the airport environment. Mm. That tells you that that project is a ready sell even before it takes off. Uh, it then means that uh, there is going to be a revolution in our agricultural sector. We we'll come back uh, to that word, That revolution. word again. But well, it's going to be a bloodless revolution. <laughs> of course. Uh, because this has nothing to do with... There are positive uh, revolutions. Arms. Of course. Mm. But the opposition will see revolution as upsetting the system with the intent of shedding blood. Of course not. That is not what Ashiwa do meant. And that's not what we are also doing uh, in Ogun State. In each of these uh, developmental pillar, the infrastructure... The social welfare and social well-being, uh, the education, youth engagement, uh, agriculture, we have delivered over 400 kilometers of road done, still counting, because some are still ongoing and some are just about to start. Under the social welfare and social well-being, that's where you have security. And what we have done in security in Ogun State is even uh, beyond expectation, especially because, for example, Security is one of the items that you have on the exclusive list. Uh, the extent to which a chief executive in a subnational government like our state will be able to have full control is limited. Uh, if Mr. Governor say, IG, oh sorry, Honorable Commissioner of Police, sit down, and the IG says, stand up, your guess is as good as mine. Even with that kind of uh, conflict in the uh, legislative framework of mm -hmm. our security. Mm -hmm. The governor has been able to uh, engender a collaboration between all security agencies that everybody now sees security as their business. And a few weeks back, towards the end of last year, uh, on towards activities began on the Lagos Urban Expressway. That's right. Now, you can move on that express now 
even in the dead of the night. Because the kind of deployment made by the security forces, Amoteko, police, yeah. both in I mean, yes. Ogun and Oyo, because it gives you a lot of because confidence. Because the road was becoming quite notorious exactly. you know, for, for the danger that it held. That it tells you that Mr. Governor is not just proactive, he's concerned. And he has made his concern now to be you know, seen in the way that the police too have taken up their statutory role as an agency saddled with policing responsibility. You know, security, there has, there's an infrastructural aspect to it as well, uh, of course. Uh, but I'm talking in particular about the very low-tech and simplistic one of clearing the both right. sides of, 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 of the expressway. Exactly. So that uh, people can't just be surprised. I, I don't know if that has, if any progress has been made on that whole idea. The good thing we have for us in Ogun State is that uh, a good portion of that road that falls into Ogun State have uh, sufficient verge that can make you see whoever is coming from any side of the road. Mm. And a greater portion of it are even developed. Okay. Uh, you have industries right. cited here and there. And that makes activities on that road to be more like a 24-7 thing. So the and few patrolling. locations... There are some lights on the road. You know. It... Well, don't forget that that road is a federal road. Right. And part of the plan for the rebuilding of that express is to light up the road. Okay. Uh, how well that is still in the pipeline, I don't have any information. And I can't speak what to things that I don't have information mm -hmm. about. But unless the federal government says they have stopped at the point where they want to reach, the state government can begin to now do intervention in terms of lighting up the road because that also will enhance security. So Mr. Governor has cut across all sectors in ensuring that the Ogun State people's life are made better than he met it. And that is one of the reasons why we are saying he deserves a second term. And so it, it's, it's safer now from those worrying times, uh, which you said in very recent times, towards the end of last year. Exactly. You know, but things are looking up of again. Of course. You know. That's from a proactive governor. Okay.